five bleeping myths about life coaching and what the deal really is. Hey, it's Marcy here, and I'm glad that you're interested in knowing more about life coaching and if it might be for you. So if you've got questions about why you might want to hire a life coach, I'd love to share a bit of information on this topic so that you can make the best decision for you. Now, you know that when people ask what you do, I have found that saying you're a life coach can be a little bit hazardous. (laughs) Yes, there are a lot of us out here. But I found that generally a lot of people have wrong ideas about what life coaching is and what it isn't. And I'm going to share some of those common myths about life coaching and why they're entirely wrong. These are the ones that really make my blood boil. The first one is that you hire a coach to tell you what to do. Major eye roll here. I don't know who came up with this idea or why exactly, but it's completely wrong. Your coach is a guide and they're going to be pointing out things that you aren't able to see about your situation. Those are things that would have brought you to them in the first place. So a good coach is going to challenge you to think differently about your circumstances and your issues and to guide you to a place where you can resolve them. With the help of a good coach, you can also get rid of blocks that are keeping you from what you want. So make no mistake about it. The answers to the questions that you have and the solutions will all come from you. Also, please note that coaching is not therapy. It shouldn't be thought of that way. Simply put, coaching is about moving forward. What happened in your past isn't as of much importance in coaching as your future is. So if you have trauma in your past and it needs to be healed, please seek out a professional therapist for that. And if you're working with a therapist, please ask them if you're ready for coaching before you sign up for it. Number two is that life coaches are all the same. Nope, nope, and no. There are many different types of coaches out there, so you're going to want to find the best one to help you with what you need. Lots of us work with specific types of clients. I work exclusively with people who want to manifest their circumstances co-creatively, and that's why my clients and students have remarkable transformations. So it's going to come down to finding the right fit, so to speak. Before you hire a coach, there are a few things to know. So keep in mind why you're seeking the help of a coach, what their style is, and find out if you resonate with one another. That's where an introductory coaching session comes in handy. Generally, most coaches are going to give you one for free. So while you're speaking with a coach, make sure that you ask about the methods that they use to help create change and transformation if they're not mentioning them. And if you want to know more about the Law of Attraction coaching that I offer, make sure to check out one of my Clarity Sessions. You can sign up below this video. The next one is, I'm not sure if the problem I have really needs life coaching. I can probably handle things on my own. Well, maybe you can handle things on your own because humans are made to adapt to different situations. But realistically, how long is that going to take you and can you afford to wait? If you're not sure yet about coaching, here's what I want you to know. If you feel like you're spinning your wheels, you're getting nowhere, coaching might be for you. Progressing in any area of your life is so important and coaching can help you. The question is this, what are you avoiding? How long can you stay where you are now without adding problems that could affect you negatively? Ask yourself those questions. Coaching is an investment. And it requires commitment and accountability. So if you're not serious about growing to overcome your challenges, then don't do it. You're going to be disappointed with the results. But if you are serious about it, there is going to be a lot of inner work involved. Sometimes your coach is going to push you and they might even piss you off occasionally. Look, I'm always excited when I know I've pushed a button because it means that that client is going to be going away in thinking mode. That's when the really good stuff starts happening. Now, don't worry. I'm not argumentative or purposely ticking you off for no reason. But understand that sometimes a push is exactly why you come to me. Here's the most important thing to remember. If you know you want the results, then go for it. You're worth the investment of time and money and effort, and what you get out of coaching will likely outweigh the money aspect. Often, clients will say they wish they had done this sooner, or that they would pay double or triple the price to get the same results. 
Coaching is costly. I just can't afford it. I hate this myth because people will use it as an excuse to stay stuck forever when they could be experiencing so much more of the good in life. Look, I'm not going to lie. Private coaching can be expensive and there are many reasons why, but I want you to keep a few things in mind here too. So first of all, many coaches will provide a payment plan. I do because I know how appreciated it is by a client who is willing to make the investment and to do the work. If you need a little bit of help with some monthly installments, I can help you on that. Also, many of us will offer different solutions like group coaching, memberships, courses, masterminds. So why would you want to invest in something like that? Well, you can get amazing results from this type of offer. And I always include some type of coaching in my offers. Private coaching is fantastic. It gives you the most amount of personal attention from me. I love it all. But the amount of time it takes can be a little bit limiting. Let's face it, for better or for worse, there's only one of me and not everybody needs the same amount of attention. For instance, I know that my first time clients have tons of questions and they need more help from me. But any returning clients don't need as much of my time in general. And that's because they're already familiar with the way that I work. And if I've done a good job the first time, I've already answered a lot of their questions. Of course, they always know that I'm here for them. And often a client might want to run an idea past me or discuss something in particular for a few minutes outside of a coaching session. So I do have some office hours included in my coaching packages for that. Another thing to know is that a coach that you want to work with might have a waiting list of people who are dying to work with them. And that's where these other types of offers will come in too. Because if you're genuinely ready for coaching, you will be self-motivated to do things. And that always cuts down on the amount of one-to-one -one time that you might need to deal with any situation. Why wait when you can start getting some results right now? And besides providing motivated people with guidance and support, Group coaching and courses will offer another great service. It can be a good introduction to that coach. That way you're going to feel better if you decide to sign up and spend a lot of money on private coaching because you'll have a good sense of whether or not you'll work well together. And that can make your coaching investment really worth it for you. Here's the last one. Certifications don't necessarily make a good coach. Well, it is true that you don't need a piece of paper to coach, and there are people who coach that don't have one, but I think it's worth your time to hire a coach that's been certified. And that's because it shows their dedication to you, their potential client, because they've invested the time and the money that's required to learn how to coach you. Just like any other profession out there, there are professional standards that are globally recognized, and coaches need to adhere to these for the safety and the well-being of their clients. Finding one who's been certified by the International Coaching Federation or who's taken a training course that's been recognized by the ICF is a good idea. A proper training course requires that you spend time with actual clients and that your instructor monitors a certain amount of your coaching for feedback. A coach in training also has to have a certain number of coaching hours to fulfill before they can be certified. That way you can be confident that your coach is credible and qualified to provide you with the best transformation and experience possible. I myself have several coaching certifications and just in case you're wondering, I am a certified law of attraction coach through the Quantum Success Coaching Academy. So I hope that answers some of the questions you might have had about life coaching in general. And if you decide to take me up on my offer for a free clarity session, just go ahead and sign up below. Once you do that, I send you more information on how you can prepare for that and what to expect in our session together. I can't wait to meet you no matter what the offer is that you might choose. I will see you then.